Okay, so let's talk about uh, Warren Buffett and this old tech buying spree because a big move in the market today was this news uh, on Apple uh, coming out that uh, Berkshire's holding a stake now worth $1 billion. This follows news that uh, there are reports of uh, Berkshire Hathaway being involved in the bid for our parent company, Yahoo. Uh, also, he has up to stake in IBM, famously for a man who says he doesn't really like tech stocks. Yeah, and it's crazy. I mean, both Yahoo and Apple are up about 3% plus today. So, you know, strong moves. Apple, of course, I don't think would be too uh, cool with being called an old tech company, but, well, you know, maybe they are. Well, it's a value play. It is a the value. people are I mean, disagreeing about that, yeah, it's I guess. It's an expensive stock, no matter how you look at it, Jen. And the other thing is, is that, you know, these companies, I mean, rather than being growth stocks, to your point, I mean, they're all about generating free cash flow. And no one loves free cash flow more than Buffett. Now, these things are all very different. I mean, Buffett's already into IBM in a huge way, down about 20%. Yeah, has it really there, worked out right? for him so well? No, not at all. Um, Apple, a billion-dollar stake, sounds big. Of course, it's nothing for either Apple or Buffett. Just right? for us, Andy. Just for us. It's a lot <laughs> for me, personally. And then as far as the Yahoo thing, that's very prospective. Um, he's connected to a bid with his buddy Dan Gilbert. They may not succeed. It's unclear how much money is at stake. So, you know, it's it's kind of a, a bunch of different plays, not necessarily connected. But it's interesting and definitely drove those two stocks mm -hmm. are in the NASDAQ. And a lot of volume on it as well. Right. Uh, with Warren Buffett, you know, we, we watch so closely what he does. It's interesting, I guess, the this bet on Apple isn't something that – he picked up the phone on. He has his lieutenants coming yeah. in and maybe giving them a little bit more of a leash to make their own decisions. So uh, it's the uh, times are changing. That's right. And, and, you know, Apple's always cheap. It's been cheap forever. Now, previously, in previous years, it's been cheap and it's gone up year after year. Yep. Now it could be cheap and go down year after year. I mean, and I need a scorecard, really, because we've got Buffett buying in. Uh, Leon Cooperman at Omega Advisors buying in. Right. Then we've got some other big shareholders, Tiger Management. Right, Julian Robertson. Okay, bailing out. Right. Uh, David Tepper dumped his Apple stake revealed on Friday. He sold. Like the war right. of the yeah. hedge fund billionaire smart money players. Well, David Tepper needed some money to get airfare to move out of New <laughs> Jersey. Um, but no, we'll see. I mean, this would be a nice little point to remember six months from now who was right and who was wrong because you've got some buyers and some sellers and some big names there, to your point, Jen. And, and um, you know, it just shows that there is no consensus here. Right. And the consensus is uncertainty, and the uncertainty is reflected in the low stock price relative to earnings. Right. Is it uh, a value play because uh, it's not going anywhere or a value play that is going to uh, figure out the service yeah, ecosystem? Trap. Yes, the value trap.